All right, you ready? Uh, oh, there we are. Mmm, handsome. <laughs> is Pop Tech out here with Anthony Bolin for a second interview. Yeah, part I mean, two. Part two. <laughs> part two. Uh, this is at um, Ichi, uh, this is at Triad. Triad. We were at Ichiban Con last time. We were at Ichiban last yeah. time. Yeah. And now we at Triad Anime Con. Heck yeah. All right. So I got some questions for you. Let's do it. But we're going to go off topic first. Oh, okay. Off topic. Why don't you listen to me? Because I told you yesterday <laughs> that you needed to get some rest. Yeah. And what did you do instead? What did I do instead? Yeah, this is day two of the con. This uh -huh. is Saturday, right? Yes. That's, see, that's how well last night went. Uh, yeah, we ended up going and doing some karaoke last night. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get any rest like you told me to. And I'm, I'm, What did you sing a song? I did. I sang, two, I sang a few songs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have you sing a song like the No, not now. No, oh, I did. Not, uh, not on this. Oh, yes, on this. Heck no. Oh, yes. I don't have the... This is in my spot. <laughs> How dare you, sir? That was that was not a good deposit. I'm going to put you on the spot. You're putting me on the spot. And then. So we... For the closer. Okay, you know what? You bring out your karaoke machine and I'll do it. That's wrong. <laughs> Got you there. All right, all right. Well, let's get into the question. <laughs> yeah. All right, so first question. Uh, what are some of your favorite lines from your voiceover work? Oh, like my personal lines yeah, that I've what, said? That you said. What's your... uh, oh, man. there There's a lot and it's so weird to like tell people because there's so many shows that people kind of don't know about uh -huh. What's up? Uh, there was one show that's kind of like based on like they're, they're, they're young girls it's very like strawberry shortcake rainbow bright where the girls are like we're cute and we live in Harajuku and we can transform and fight monsters uh, but it's very cutesy and the girls all have like creative uh, like one's a painter so when she transforms she has this big paintbrush and like can do stuff with it so it's, it's like okay but I play their little mascot character who is a giant talking fried shrimp <laughs> he's this huge fried shrimp and he goes around your neck like a like a sleep pillow okay, I actually have, I have I actually the picture of you sleep pillow. oh okay uh, I, have, I have a shrimp uh, <laughs> I have a shrimp uh, yeah, but the, the name of the show is called Urahara. Urahara. Urahara, and it's cutesy, like a little kid show, but this talking shrimp, uh, we just did talking like whatever. So it was it was a lot of these, and he had a weird voice, but we added a lot of shrimp puns. Uh -huh. So when he would talk to someone, he's like, I'm just shooting the shrimp with this guy. But and he'd say, like, uh, ah, I'm going to sizzle myself. You made me, you got me so mad, I'm sizzling, I'm sizzling mad. It's really, it's... It's a lot better in the show in context because, like, right, it's like so dumb to be like, there's a giant fried shrimp talking. <laughs> yes. Um, and then I like any lines where you can sound like a badass, where it's like um, a lot of shows. There's a show I do, Cautious Hero. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to talk a lot, say, uh, uh, he just goes, nice. <laughs> yes. That's what I heard. Nice. Yeah, I do remember the last time you just said the character is fair because he just had like maybe like one line here. He, and there. Yeah, it sits real low in my voice, very easy to do. Don't have to scream. <laughs> so I that's what I'll say though. I don't really have a lot of lines I like, but if I don't have to scream, yes. that's my favorite. All right. So uh, next question: How old were you when you first started watching anime? Oh, great question. Uh, when I I unknowingly was watching anime when I was probably like seven or eight I, I remember Voltron being on mm -hmm. I, I remember having Voltron toys but I don't think I understood it was anime mm -hmm. I was like oh this is just like Transformers yeah. like okay uh, and then I remember really young I caught Vampire Hunter D mm -hmm. and did not understand it <laughs> I think I was like 10 or 11, and I was like, this is like weird, a dude with a talking hand and all that. Uh, and then in high school was where I blossomed. Yes. Like like most of us do in high school is when I started watching uh, Dragon Ball was coming out on Toonami. I was right in the pocket of yes. where yes. Toonami hit. I was a teen boy, and it, and all of my friends, we were like, Dragon Ball for life, right? <laughs> yes, I remember, I remember that way when it happened. I was in oh, college. Oh, man. It, it was... That's been like the craziest, but that that's where I kind of got started. When I really watched anime, it was Dragon Ball and a Yu Yu Hakusho from from that. So, all right. So, a question I asked you last time. Yes. The last interview. Yeah. What was your most embarrassing moment doing stand up? Remember? Yes. Uh, this time, what's your most embarrassing moment from doing voice acting or directing? 
Because you, you direct a lot of big people. I do. I, I, working on One Piece, there's a lot of actors from like, that are, that are just in, it's a, it's a thousand episode show so far, and every actor's in it. So I got to meet a lot of really cool uh, people that work in L.A. primarily. Uh, so like Patrick Seitz, Matt Mercer, uh, Kyle Abair and all that. I'd known them a little bit, but it's cool to have them on as regulars. So uh, I, I wouldn't say anything's in... I don't know if I've embarrassed myself. Let me think. I, I think I've fanned out a couple times and d- absolutely with Matt Mercer. What yeah, Matt Mercer, I absolutely... Uh, I was talking to him about D&D uh-huh. and since it was just me, him, and the engineer, I was like, hey, do you mind if I ask you? And he was so cool about it, so nice, and I'm like, yeah, dude, that's that's awesome, but I, I always feel bad being like, hey, so you're, you were in this, and I really like it. <laughs> like, I'm a big fan. Like, there's, you want to drop, name drop it just a little bit, like, yeah. yeah, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's been some really amazing, I, I mean, if I thought about it, I'm trying to think, but there's there's been a lot of those where I just kind of fan out, so. <laughs> you yeah, work with um, Chris Sagan. So, this is off topic, this is not a question. This no, that's awesome. all right. Um, so, I uh, did have a question I was going to ask. People in the, who, who've been here. Yes. Who is your favorite father figure in anime? And he plays the best father figure in every role he does, pretty much. Piccolo. 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 Oh, no, I was going to say, Piccolo for me is like the best father figure. <laughs> uh, I, I adore Papa Piccolo with... Gohan growing up and now he's taking care of Pan where it's like where's your daughter like he's 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 the nanny and this big tough guy like watching this baby Saiyan uh, has always been one of my favorite things and then um, oh uh, well Sonny Strait plays the father in uh, Shin Chan uh, and that's just a phenomenal role so uh, yeah I think it's Sonny I'm not I'm not I hope I don't put my foot in my mouth but I'm pretty sure it's Sonny um, we'll fact check it later yeah we'll fact check don't at me uh, <laughs> I should know, but I'm pretty sure it was him. But those, like, regardless, the, the those type of father figures where it's either super dumb, wacky, like Homer Simpson or whatever, or or like Piccolo, where it's like, yeah, I'm a tough man, but it's like, don't don't mess with my baby. Yeah. <laughs> don't mess with my baby. Yeah, Gohan was a hard, uh, Goku's a horrible father. Yeah, Goku's barely there. <laughs> he was he was dead most of the time. God, bye, Gohan. I'm about to be dead again. Yeah, Vegeta surpassed him in that where it's like, oh, at least he's there. Yeah. He, 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 uh, he was supposed to try to be strong. That's, well, uh, sorry, not to cut you off, but that moment, the Mahin Vegeta, where he is like, they have that statue, but he's looking at Trunks, and he's like, I'm so sorry, son, and knocks him out. That, to me, was like, <gasps> he does love him. Like, oh, like tough dad, okay. Yes. So, yeah, no, all, all of those. Anime has such great dad arcs, <laughs> too, yes. so... Uh, I'd say those. All right. Um, what are some habits you picked up during the pandemic? So the pandemic happened what two and a half years ago mm-hmm. today, actually. Because shut down. Sorry. <laughs> Yay! The anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, pandemic. Uh, habits that I picked up. Uh, well, I'm gonna say like this is this is gonna be like the most like grounded, serious. Like honestly, the best thing that has come out of this has been, that I've seen with everyone, voice actors, fans, everything, is that two years of self-discovery and hard work, and a lot of people are taking, like, their mental health seriously, yeah. uh, they're, they're finding their truths, their identity, they're, like, they're finding themselves, and I, I personally, like, some great habits I picked up were that, like, doing my therapy, working, uh-huh. like, I, I had left improv on the weekends like we had talked last time but I finally New Year's was my last show because I wanted to have my weekends back yeah. spend time with my wife see my friends uh, so that was a good habit I picked up to, to invest in myself uh-huh. and then uh, one of my the, the funnest one was uh, us playing D&D when we, when we started playing D&D me and the I'm pointing to the other voice actors but uh, when we so yes you did a panel yeah we just did it we did a D&D yeah, panel, panel. Yeah, it's nuts but that was a, a habit that we picked up, and that's been a great way to connect with, with a lot of the voice actors that we play with and all that, and to play a character and have fun. So D&D is also like rolled in with that therapy where it's like, oh, this is what a fun, healthy way to still see your friends and not have to, so, and you can socially distance, and now we're excited to like be at a table and play. Yeah. So it's, it's really cool. Yeah. So that was, those were some really good habits that I picked up, mm-hmm. and just like watching more TV and all that. Yeah. Catching up on, like, old shows. 
Yes, and I got a, and I got a PS5 finally. Uh -huh. So that uh, kind of eased off. Where I was like, oh, I have a PS5. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you all later. I have a bunch of games to play. Yes. <laughs> all right. So last question before you sing for us. Oh. Because you you gonna sing something? I'm gonna sing. You can say goodbye, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, one second. One second. Yeah. With my back in. All right. We're filming. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Uh, good, this last question. Okay, so, um, again, what, you have anything you want to promote that's new from last time? Uh, Except for One Piece. Yeah, so, well, I'm, I'm doing that. Well, here's the thing. Uh, one of my favorite shows that I've, that I've been in, Devil's a Part-Timer, is, is getting a lot of people been waiting for season two. It is happening. It is confirmed. When that happens, look out for that because we haven't even, like, I don't think Japan even has aired it yet. But that down the pipe is one of those where I'm like, I'm working on that. We're working on some some other shows, but like One Piece has been the thing, and I would just love it if people continue to love and watch that show. It's getting really good now, getting into those good arcs. Yeah, I was telling you how I couldn't find any One Piece Funko items. Man, and Funko, it's all like, here's 20 Luffy's, and that's it. Like, And then yes. you get one or two of the other characters. Yes. Uh, it but, is one thing I, did, I have noticed in the years I've been collecting, that they do beat the hell out of one character. Oh, man. That, well, that's pops, man. They do that a lot with the bar. It's like the hero needs I, seven Batman, outfits. I'm a Batman fan, so they've done so many Batmans. Yeah, <laughs> the Batman. Yes. The, uh, yes. Have yes. you seen it? Yes. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it is phenomenal. Everybody's seen it. It's really good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'd say. Look out for. I mean, that's what we've been kind of doing, just working on that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for right now that I can say uh, legally say. All right. So, sing us out. All right, uh, thank you so much. That's, uh, that's all I got. All right. Put me on the spot. All right, thank you so much. We back home. Yes. Back right. me up on that. All right, thank you all so much. <laughs>